Well, I um, never thought that I would get into business. Never once. Had never done anything on my own, actually. Um, I think I went out as an adventure to travel overseas and ended up with no money and nowhere to live and then happened to meet this incredible opportunity that, uh, that I was able to look and um, care for old people. And uh, one of the gentlemen that I looked after was a Swiss billionaire. Well, I never found out quite how much money that he had, but um, he, his wife had inherited the sixth share of Coca-Cola and this had this incredible fortune. And uh, it was a great opportunity in that um, I was with him for 17 months and asked him to mentor me on uh, what he would have done if he had have started back in his life at 21 years of age. And, uh, and therein he taught me how to think and no one had ever taken the time to ask me my thoughts. In fact, I didn't have any original thoughts. And so it was wonderful to have a mentor who, um, who really took me under his wing, challenged me in ways that I'd never been challenged before up until that age. And, um, and I got to sort of get a sense of who I was. And I went out into the world then and traveled to about 32 different countries. And by the time I came home, I was really um, ambitious, I guess, to get ahead and, and live an incredible life um, because I'd seen he had so much regret. So from there, I, uh, I joined the Flight Centre Limited um, group of companies. Uh, within 18 months, I had um, purchased into my first store and was really getting some incredible success for myself. Um, I had 74 different teams in five years, ended up having two shops that were turning over about $7 million. And, uh, and I sort of woke up at the age of um, 25 and realised that uh, that wasn't the path I wanted to go down. I didn't want the corporate scene. I wasn't interested in um, trading my time for money. And, uh, and it was there that somebody introduced me to business coaching. Um, how I came, I guess, across business coaching was from a client of mine. Um, I uh, was at the beauty therapist and, uh, and she mentioned her husband was a business coach and he needed a travel agent. And that's how I became a business coach. He basically uh, took me along a journey of what uh, it was to lead uh, small to medium sized businesses, similar to the business model I'd been doing in the corporate scene. Uh, they were desperate for women. They only had, I think, seven women and 600 men. And, um, and he offered me a fabulous opportunity of um, coming into his business without any risk, without any, um, any capital that I had to put in. And, uh, and then I was trained as a coach and within 16 months was a global trainer of business coaches. And, uh, and my goal there in five years was to work with 100 business owners and develop 10 millionaires. I really wanted to understand the system of business um, get my own clarity around what makes somebody successful. And for me, um, becoming a business coach really unleashed a competitive edge that I always knew was inside of me but had never been unleashed. And helping and serving others, I had um, no apologies for how competitive I was, um, how um, results driven I was, how accountable I was. And so I really f sort of fell into my, um, my perfect occupation, I guess. I left uh, the large uh, business coaching world when I, I identified for myself that it wasn't bringing holistic success. We were making people rich, but we weren't making them wealthy. And to me, wealth is in your network, wealth is in the community, uh, wealth is in the balance between time and money and relationships and, and health. And I really wanted to find a system that would work for people that would uh, deliver the whole package. A lot of our clients want lifestyle, but they also want to know that they can um, have a career that is going to achieve incredible results within the community, profit-based. Um, but they also want to know they can raise their kids and, uh, and they want to know that they can have a significance. And so, you know, we were looking for a combination, a program that, um, that could deliver everything that I wanted. And I think through testing and measuring and working with um, elite business people, it was fascinating to be able to see that it is possible to have it all. And in fact, there's a, there's a core group of people that we work with that expect it all. 
and so it's been wonderful to be able to um, to work in amongst those people and um, and see their success and be a part of it and celebrate it with them. And so I believe coaching is um, simply to fast track ask better questions and so you're, you keep your awareness level very high. And, um, and really awareness about what's happening, whether or not it's causing you stress, whether you're having a great time, it's capturing every moment. And I think that's what being present in is really, is capturing each moment and um, having a think about that moment and saying, how can it be better? How can I be better? Um, what result is it that I really want? Find the person who's got the ideal question and then that'll change your actions, which changes the quality of your life. So I really believe that um, coaching in every aspect of my life is, has been integral in for me achieving the results that I've been able to achieve. Well, when I first came across, I guess, the principles of law of attraction, uh, the secret, all the stuff that we used to class as woo-woo or a bit out there or what we call freaky coaching, um, really makes perfect sense. And I think anybody who's successful understands that uh, there's a certain amount of expectation that brings incredible results. I mean, we've got templates, we've got uh, the nine areas of business that are guaranteed to give um, increases in bottom line profit, and yet we can apply those success principles to people that have a low self-image about themselves and low expectation, and they get low results. And so, you know, part of our program is helping people understand about, um, I guess, receiving a, a positive self-image, but not only that, by using the universal laws, uh, the laws that we know to be true because we've tested and measured successful people and they understand either they have a certain sense of luck about them or a certain sense of expectation um, and we harness all of these the law of attraction and and all the stuff that once I would have questioned in terms of scientific um, evidence but now I know to be absolutely um, certain that you know there's more at play here when someone's successful you can take a successful person and put them in a business that's failing, that's guaranteed to fail, and they'll turn that business around in 90 days. Um, similarly, you can take a successful business that's growing rapidly and put someone with a low self-image in it, with low expectation, and that business will fail within a period of 90 days. And so it's not just about the numbers, it's not just about um, you know business coaching, there's a lot more to it when you look at holistic success and building a network um, and working with character. And I think that that's what a lot of um, businesses are looking for now is to work with high integrity, with uh, learning the character lessons and the wisdom that they need to have um, a, a success that comes from inside. It's not about being told that you've won an award and that, um, and that you're great. It's about the feeling that you're getting every single day or every single moment that you are achieving at the level that you know that you can achieve at. And a lot of our clients are frustrated that they're not playing the game as big as what they'd like to play. And we really put them in an environment that allows them to play as big as they want and we celebrate that success. <laughs>